Hey guys, welcome to the salicylic acid treatment guide for warts. Currently, sorry about this ugly, disgusting wart right here. I'll get away from that in a second. Salicylic acid is the primary treatment used by most health most healthcare practitioners in eliminating warts. Its effectiveness studies show it works between 70 to 85 percent of the time, most likely on the high end. This is over many research articles, and the timeline is generally around two months. The reason most people use it, it's available at drugstores, so over the counter you can buy it, always under 20 bucks for the most part. Comes in band aid forms, uh, liquid applicator forms. It's cheap, it's safe, and it's generally regarded as the first line treatment. So here's what you do. You either have a patch or some liquid, apply it at night, stick a band-aid, I prefer some duct tape on there, stop if there's any pain. When that comes off the next day or in a couple days, as directed, different, you know, there's different concentrations, use a pumice stone or an emery board and kind of rub down the loosened skin. What the salicylic acid does is it makes the top of the wart peel away, you just rub that off. And then, once you do that, just repeat as directed. So things you got to do. Avoid putting acid on the skin around the wart. That could cause some irritation, some pain. The flakes that come off as you start rubbing with the emery board are viral. So get rid of, you know, don't drop them on your other foot or else you could catch a wart there. Use Lysol spray to disinfect your shoe, your socks, everything. Get rid of it. Anything you touch. The warts are contagious. And do this for two to three months, and almost everybody should be in good shape. If that doesn't work, come to the website link underneath this video, or if you don't want to go to your uh, corner store to buy these over the counter, we show treatment guides using duct tape, vinegar, and this one, salicylic acid, how they compare to each other, what the studies show, and what the best thing is for you to do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.